Hi guys, welcome back to Rock Fabulous 40s and for some reason today I am like totally in the mood to test things out. I know it's kind of strange, but I don't know, I'm just, I'm in one of those moods today. Anyway, so today you'll notice I have no eyeliner on. My brows might be a little funky because I just got done testing this new brow product that either has already gone up or will be going up soon, but anyway, so like I said, I'm in a testy mood today. Anyway, so today I'm going to be testing out this thing that, the thing, <laughs> a couple of brushes that I found at Ulta from Real Techniques. These are the Eye Detail and Define brushes right here. And I've actually had these guys for, I don't know, maybe three months and I've never tried to use them yet. I've been waiting for the perfect time to get on here and test them. So that's what I'm going to do today. So you have two brushes. You've got this guy here, which is just kind of a flat angled brush and Real Techniques calls it the definer brush, which has firm slanted bristle, br bristles, bristles um, which are ideal for controlled application along the lash line. So that's what they call this guy, the definer brush. And then you have this guy right here. Look how teeny tiny that guy is. Look at that. And then this guy is kind of squared off at the top, but gosh, it's so little. And then the Real Technique says about this guy, it is the smallest brush ever, square detailer brush, precision cut, square bristles help create a small, or help create small precise lines and accents, which is this guy right here. And then you get this little guy, which kind of looks like a little slashed up guitar pick here, um, to help you define or do wings. You can use these little guys to guide winged liner or even the sides here to guide wing liner. Um, so yeah, this says this is a liner guide for steady liner application. Now, I, like I said, I picked this up a few months back. I got it at Ulta. It was $8.99. It is still available at Ulta. Um, I'll leave links for it down below if you guys are interested in it. But we are going to test this guy out today along with the um, little brushes here that it comes with. So we all know that I am just absolutely horrible at winged liner. It wouldn't be the first time that I've ever said, oh my god, I'm so bad at winged liner. I know I'm bad at winged liner and my eyes are a little bit hooded so I don't normally do winged liner that often. But I figured this could be a good way to test it out and see you know, if I can get a decent wing with this, if this is going to be something, you know, worth you guys trying out, if you're like me and horrible at winged liner. Um, so we're going to test this out today. Um, I'm also going to be using the little brushes that came with it. And I'm going to be using my favorite gel eyeliner or cream eyeliner, which is from Clinique. And this is just called the Brush on Cream Liner, and it's in true black. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit. And forgive me if you know, while I'm trying to do this, if it tends to go off camera just a hair because I'm just, it's very, very hard for me to do eyeliner while on camera. It's, it's just really weird for me. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys in. Okay, I'm going to see if I can't figure out how to line him up on my lash line to do a wing. So, I mean, I could use these little guys, these little slotted guys here and just kind of try to somehow line it up I guess like that or I could use this side right here and just kind of line it up that way which oh that could work or this side is kind of cut out or not do you see how like that side's dipped in this side kind of comes out a little bit so I could probably even do that even which sometimes for hooded eyes, if you have the area or if you have um, a wing that kind of goes up a little bit instead of dips in, sometimes it shows a little bit better. Um, let's see. I am just horrible at this stuff. All right. I think I'm going to try... Uh, okay, so this guy right here, it's really hard to get him in there. It really is. Alright, so I think I'm going to try this guy right here and really, really hope that I don't screw up my liner really, really bad because I am just horrible at it. And I'm going to start with this little tiny detailer accent brush here, just the 
teeny tiny, come on, there we go, zoom in, come on, there we go, this little teeny tiny guy right here, because I think it might just be a little bit easier to get it in the little angle. All right, so here we go, and with the liner, I'm not going to grab too much of it, just a little. All right, and we're going to try to line this bad boy up. Here we go. Please work. I really don't want to have to redo my makeup today. I feel like I'm going to stab myself in the eye here. All right, here we go. And, okay, that's not bad. What do you guys think? That's not too bad at all. All right, let me go ahead and finish this out. Maybe I'll try to finish it out with this brush. really close to the lash line. That's what I'm trying to do here. Okay. There it is. What do you guys think? It's not the most perfect line ever, but I think the wing actually came out pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and try to fix it or even it out just a little bit more. Okay, there it is. What do you guys think? I think I can deal with that. Actually doesn't look too bad. Okay, so far I won. Looks good. Now let me see if I can even it on I2. That's going to be the fun part. It's trying to make even liner. Alright. Make sure that before you place it on the other eye, you wipe off the excess liner because you will get it all over your skin. Alright. So, here we go. Let's see if I can make this even. It's not as good, but let's see if I can fix it. Um, yeah, that's not going to fix. Okay, that's all right. We're going to try it again. Yes, it's a bit messy. <sighs> We're going to try this eye again. So, here we go. There we go. Okay, I can work with that. And let me finish that up.
They're not perfectly even, but I think that's just going to take some practice. But overall, not too terribly bad. Alright, I'm going to go put some mascara on and I will be back in a flash. Okay guys, I'm back. Mascara's done. Finished up a little bit more of the eyeliner on my inner water lines. Um, you know, overall, I mean, I've always really liked Real Techniques sponges, brushes, tools in general. So honestly, it was like really no surprise to me that these brushes would be really good as well. And I really, really, really love this little tiny little square detailer brush here. This, this little guy, this one right there. I really, really like him. He um, really, really gets into that lash line really well and actually smudges um, the liner in there really nicely. I was able to actually use it as well on the waterline and smudge right in there on the waterline as well and it worked great for that. I always have a problem with when I do my inner waterline I normally use a brush like this a flat angled brush. I'll dip it in my gel liner and I will just kind of run it along that upper waterline right there and I always every single time end up getting liner on my contact lens. Don't know how it happens, but somehow the brush just kind of hits my eye and I get eyeliner there and then I end up having to take my lens out and clean it. That didn't happen with this little guy right here. He fit right in between each little lash just perfectly. So I am really, really, really impressed with both of these brushes that came in this little kit. Also, this little guy here I was actually really, really impressed with him too. I mean, I normally don't do winged liner, like I said, because my eyes are a little bit hooded, so winged liner just doesn't look really good on me, plus the fact I have a really, really hard time getting it even, and I still, even with this, had a little bit of a hard time getting it even, but I think it's just going to take some practice. But it did really come out not too terribly bad. I don't know. What do you guys think? You know, I think that if I'm wanting to wear a winged liner, I can definitely use this. I need to play around with it some more and figure out, you know, which one of these lines or maybe the curvy area or the dipped in area here. I need to figure out which way is going to look better on me. But I think that this is really going to help me achieve that winged liner look for those times when I do want to wear that winged liner. So overall, guys, I have to say that this little kit right here from Real Techniques, again, it's called the Eye and Define, I believe. Yeah, it's called the Eye Detail and Define. Um, I really believe that this little, this little kit really came in handy. I really, I'm impressed with this little guy specifically and this little guy specifically. I mean, these two tools right here to me are totally worth the $8.99 that I paid for it at Ulta. So... For those of you ladies that have problems with your winged liner or you have a hard time getting eyeliner really close to the lash line like I do, check out this little kit. This little kit is really, really nice. Alright guys, so those are my thoughts, my opinions on the Real Techniques Eye Detail and Define Kit. I hope you guys found this video informative, and if you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Also guys, let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this kit and what you thought of it, because I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Okay, so you guys can look me up on my website at www.rockfabulousonline.com. You can look me up on Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, all under rockfabulous40s. And guys, don't forget to hit subscribe down there somewhere. And you too can rock your fabulous 40s. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.